We're rolling? Yeah. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the first ever episode of the Murph and Tor show. This is Murphy. If you don't know her, she's my kid. She's finally big enough to sit up. We've been waiting for this moment. She can sit up so we can do the show. That was like our thing. I wanted to have her in the high chair here, but she won't show. So this is, and she's kind of crabby, so I don't know how this will go, but we'll see. So this is the first episode of Murph and Tor show. Hopefully there's many more. Hopefully you guys like it. Uh, we've got some topics to go down. It's like, go down the list, get through the topics, um, and we'll talk to you. This is also the first episode, but we're in quarantine. So social distancing has become a hot term. People don't have much to do. We can't go to bars. We can't go to restaurants. So package stores are doing well, I'm sure. Like, I know the guy down the street is swimming in dough. That's for damn sure. Not sponsored, though. Uh, but do love the seltzers. Seltzers on a nice day. Can't really beat it. Right, Murphy? Murphy says milk on a nice day. Can't beat it. But she's been liking water a lot lately, too. So in the warm sun with a nice cup of water, bottle of water, she's in. One of Brian's buddies today asked him his favorite quarantine snacks. So that's what we're going to start with because we're in quarantine. Uh, I think my favorite quarantine snack is ha is going to be Cliff Bars. I eat it really for lunch, but they, but in general, it's just so clutch. And if really, if something crazy went down, it's nice to have Cliff Bars on hand because it's there's like 40 carbs. There's 10 grams of protein. I'm running off stats. I basically work for Cliff. But they're good to have on hand. I'm telling you, grab a few boxes, have them in the cabinet. They're great. Uh, Murphy's favorite snack for the quarantine would have to be Puffs. He's obsessed with Puffs. It actually buys us about 20 minutes of time. Like She is in a stage where if you aren't paying attention to her, she's screaming. Screaming. So we can't really leave her alone, but given her Puffs. Her puffs? Save us. Save us. I have to say. Favorite things? Can you reach her? Leave this up. She just learned how to hold things, so it's pretty monumental. This is in Murphy's milestone. She is almost nine months. Don't judge her. <laughs> She's dropping every one. Brian's favorite snack, what would you say? Cheez Its? Yeah. Cheez Its, white cheddar. Or ice cream sandwiches. Oh my god, he's been eating ice cream sandwiches. I tell him, better get on the Peloton because just eating ice cream sandwiches every second. All right, so I'm going to go with my favorite things to watch during the quarantine as my next segment. Murphy's is definitely from, definitely Sesame Street. I think those songs are just constantly playing in my head. Or Mickey Mouse Club, but Sesame Street's more. Elmo! She likes Elmo. Uh, but, like, right when he comes on the TV, her eyes light up like it's Christmas. Uh, Brian's favorite thing to watch, I would say, right now, is... Anything on YouTube, he's always been like that, but now he never misses an episode of pretty much anything. So, my favorite shows right now are, I mean, I love The Rundown, Barstool. Me and Brian watch it every night. It's so funny when they talk about coronavirus, they talk about anything, I crack up. Dave, he's my hero right now, getting me through this quarantine. He's so funny, and he's in the heat of it in New York City. So, I like listening to him because he keeps it light, keeps it positive. Definitely always watch him, and I watch pizza reviews. I want to try every pizza he tries just to see how it is. I feel like me and Brian, all we do is eat pizza. Quarantine days is pizza life. I think every night we're like, is it too weird to eat pizza like again? Or is it bad to eat pizza again? Murphy got crossed yesterday, so uh, she's a big fan of the pizza. I don't really watch. Can I get a segment? Yeah, what? In the news. In the news. It's news topics. In the news. Yeah. That's, you you yeah. give your opinion on news topics that happen today. Okay, are you going to give me one? Yeah. Go ahead. They're generally corona related. Sure, give me the segment. All right, so news came out, Washington Post, that there's so little planes flying. Yeah, true. Like almost none. Correct. When's the next time you're getting back on a plane? I mean, flights to Florida are like eighteen dollars. Doesn't bother you, so it doesn't bother you. No, if I, when, I mean, when when Corona's cleaned up, you'll go back. You'll be back. Just so you know, she didn't. Eat, all these are all on the ground. But <laughs> um, when Corona's done, I'll be back flying. Except for my last experience on the planes was tragic. American Airlines it was tragic. So I 
I chose before Corona to never fly again. I said I will drive to wherever I have to go. So I'm going to continue that promise. I'd rather drive. I had a nightmare flight experience, cancellations after cancellations for no reason other than they didn't have a pilot. So I'm going to choose to drive. Don't care about Corona. No, nothing to do with Corona. I would fly tomorrow. If there was no Corona. No, I would fly with Corona. There's no one on the planes. There's like two people. That's stupid. Stupid on the plane, brother. Seven dollars? You would go. Florida. Seven, yeah, seven dollars. Florida doesn't have that many cases. The only reason they had cases was spring breakers. You don't think a couple of them are lingering on the beach? Probably. I'm, I'm not going to Florida because you can't go to the beach. That's what's stupid. But I, that's, Corona's not deterring me. I'm saying that. All right. There's just as much know. Corona hair as there. Good to know. This one was in uh, New York Times. Why is there still no toilet paper in stores? Makes no sense to me. I mean, luckily, I we had a couple big packages from Costco before this happened because we're kind of stocked up because your parents give us bring us the rolls. And then my friend was like, you better get on Amazon and order some toilet paper. It's like flying, flying off the shelves right when Corona started. So I got another box, Amazon brand, see how it is. I don't know. It could be like freaking hard, but we'll see. But um, so I'm stocked. I figured by now there would be toilet paper back on the shelves because I thought people would be stocked and then they'd be able to replenish. But it's still off the shelves. I think people are in such a frenzy right now that when they see it, they just get it. They don't they don't even need it. But because it's so sparse that they'll just grab it off. They'll, they don't even need it. So there's never going to be any in surplus because no matter who you are, even if you have 30 packs at home, you're going to grab that pack. So I'm shocked it's not bad. What? I don't know what these companies are doing. Are they snoozing? Like, get your employees in there and make these paper. Unless they can't, they can't, everyone has corona at their companies. I don't know. Great point. Uh, one last one. Murphy better not run out of wipes. Right. One last one. Yeah. Today, in Italy, a 101-year-old man recovered from coronavirus. Woo! Go, man. That's he awesome. He was born in 1919. He's known as Mr. P. Yep. That's my dad, Mr. And he was born around the time of the Spanish flu. So he knows about the Spanish flu? He knows about it. He was born during the Spanish so flu. So he has immunity to this because of the Spanish flu? It's, a, it's, it's not brought up, but he lived through the Spanish flu. Even... And now he lived through coronavirus. Wow. Wow. That guy should have be paid out millions for living through that. Yeah. Poor guy. Scoop his DNA. Scoop it up. She wants it. Murph, any thoughts on coronavirus? She wants more puff, and she made a mess. Murphy's out of daycare. Murphy's out of daycare. Bri I was going to talk about that. Bri working from home was yeah. a big thing on my list to talk about because Bri, I still have to go to work. I'm a nurse. For those who don't know, ER nurse. My hospital's small and hasn't really been hit by corona yet. We have testing center outside, which is really busy every day, like 100 tests a day. That does help deter traffic from the ER, so loving that. School nurses are running that. Thank you. Thanks for the public health nurses. They're saving us from a lot of exposure. But anyway, still got to go to work. Brian's home doing his work. Murphy's not at daycare. I don't know how he does it, dude. I can't even, I can't even do anything with this kid. I literally have to be next to her 24 hours. Where's your binky? Here, take this back. You can't have puffs your whole life. So... Another thing I want to talk about was the... Murphy's not too happy. <laughs> so we bought a new house, sold our house. We're moving during Corona time. Our closing is on April 30th for both places. The logistics of that, I don't even want to think about in my head. <laughs> um, so that's one thing. It's sad to leave our house. We've been here six years. We've done a lot to it. Um, our new house needs a lot, so... Giving up a lot to get not that much, but <laughs> we're excited to show you our flip. I think this is it. Murphy, say bye. Say bye. She's teething. I think she has some big teeth, teeth popping through. Thanks for tuning in to the first ever Murph and Tour show. Hope you liked it. I'll be back again. With, if you have any topics you want to hear, anything you want to hear about, send me some questions. We're here to answer them. We're here for you guys. We love you guys. We appreciate your support. 
Thanks for loving on me and Murph. And a quick goodbye song for you all. It's called... I think we could skip it. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye for now to you, my friends. Ooh. Goodbye, farewell, until we meet again. And we're out. That's a wrap. Shut off the cameras. All right, really. Cut it. Say bye, Murphy. Wait. Bye. 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 Bye.